Hi Leo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for all the support. I send you love and appreciation right back. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So one week it might be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. Another week there's a love reading. I also do a law of attraction tarot card reading on Monday. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Leo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Leo? Messages for Leo, please. Okay. All right, we'll start here with the tarot, and then we'll go on to the angel answers. You've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. Well, nice money aspects. You got the Fool Death, the Five of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and the Star. Well, you're definitely attracting a big change. There's transformation and transition going on here, but it brings wish fulfillment. You know, when we have things like Death, the Star, and the Fool, you're definitely at the jumping off place. Now, for some of you, though, you've got a lot of Pentacle, a lot of Earth energy here. So you're manifesting, you're in, going to be an increase or a decision with money. Your ship is coming in here and you've got nice aspects with the King of Wands interjecting himself there to expand your career also. So you and your own energy. You have Scorpio Aquarius here, plus I mentioned you have fire and quite a bit of earth. So Taurus, Virgo, Ga Capricorn. Now with the Knight of Pentacles, good news is on the way. I'm telling you, there's definitely going to be something financial. When we look at this with the nine, which is the luxury card, and this two, because the two has that oversized infinity symbol. That is a very important ancient Gnostic symbol. It's also it's also got um, symbolism in the boats telling you your ships are coming in. So for those of you that I almost get for somebody inheriting money or getting a check of some sort, it feels almost it feels unexpected in a way. Others of you, though, if it's been something you've been juggling, like a transition into a new job, trying to get an improvement, you're definitely going to get something long-term and stable. Or if you've been having kind of a patchwork of things, kind of going from one to the next because each place keeps offering you a little more money, I do feel like you're going to get something more stable and long-term coming in. But you might have a bit of a balancing act going on there for a minute. So the knight comes in to get the job done again. This is measure twice, cut once. You're not going to be looking up Mercury retrograde, trying to figure out how to fix this mess later. This is getting it done right the first time. Now, I also feel like if you've been waiting on a contract, there's going to be one, I still get that you have a choice here, that's going to be head and shoulders above the rest. There's going to be something that's going to be a, the clear-cut winner. So if you have two, you're juggling two different people, and that's what it's about. There is going to be a turning point here, and I do feel like you're going to move forward with one of them. Um, but with this Nine of Pentacles, you may find that people are interested in you. This is also an energy, too. You know, she stands in this opulent garden. It's an energy of prosperity, abundance, making gains. It also can be about the physical body. So really liking how you look, feeling fit, feeling good. Um, I do get, too, if somebody's been retaining water, you're going to get that under control. We don't use tarot for medical advice, so if you think you have a medical problem, again, we want to go to a doctor on that. But again, we all have time to time retention things going on. So with the uh, Nine of Pentacles, though, Nines are about attainment. And so I do feel like you're going to have some big accomplishment here that you're going to be very happy about. Now, she, I mentioned, I was mentioning about companionship, and I kind of got sidetracked. You have it multiple times here, but you also have it here. Even though she is the single lady, I feel like it's not for long, male or female. There's no gender in the tarot, just characters. But she also is surrounded by people, and I feel like you're going to have, or connected to, it has a lot of social connections. I feel like you're going to 
have more increase in um, social invitations, people asking, you want to go out and we're going to have a group of people go to dinner, things like that. Um, so you may find that you get more, a little busier, you get more on the calendar in terms of socializing. So with the Two of Pentacles here, we've talked a little bit about this. You're going to be juggling something. Some of you, it's going to be two people. But I do feel like you're having fun with it. And I feel like you're capable of settling down, whoever this is for. Um, but it just is about, you know, why why do that until I really find the one that really wants to show me what I'm looking for. Now, others of you, I mentioned it's a job-related thing, that you may have had more than one job at one point. And it's just because there's been a lot of work available. And it's it's this sort of trial and error thing of, you know, getting new jobs easily because there's more money. I even get somebody doing, it feels like some kind of sporting event or some kind of a community event, but you get paid pretty well for it. Temporary gig, but still feels like one of those things where those kinds of things keep coming up. And so it makes things busy. It, it picks up, but it also brings you new people into your life, new networking and new ways to improve even more on this. So with this, new doors are going to open and I do feel like it brings sort of a sense of levity about it. Now, the fool is ready to jump in. I mean, when we, when we take this together, we really do have a major transition here. Okay, we've got the death card, which is of course about transformation. The fool always signals a transition and the star embodies wish fulfillment. The fool is your soul in this earth school. It represents your soul going off and learning about this earth school and ascending. So when the fool meets death, the fool, your soul, learns about transformation. When your soul meets the star, your soul gets everything it's asked for. Okay, this is significant when you see these together. So um, with the full energy here, you've released all the resistance. You're going to have a very fun-natured, high-spirited energy. Again, I mentioned you're going to have an increase in social opportunities because you're fun and people want to hang out with you. In terms of a relationship, though, I do feel like you have somebody here that's going to come in and it's going to be hard to resist. I don't think you're going to keep playing the feel those of you that have been with this it's feeling like you want to be all in the fool has trust enthusiasm it's all about new beginnings it's the card of zero so you stand in the field of pure potentiality it is a card though of honesty and integrity so you walk forward but in that non-judgmental way so you're open to everything he is called also the beginner's mind so anything that you you begin in this energy is great because there's such a pure clean energy there's no hang-ups, okay? You know who you are. You know where you came from, but you're not living there. You're not trying to recreate the past. You're here to, to begin anew and to enjoy every single bit of this. Now, in terms of somebody that you're attracting, this person also has a spontaneous energy about them. They may have traveled a bit or moved around a bit. I do get that. I also feel like they have sort of an interest in unusual facts, like trivia kinds of things, or they just know a lot of information about you know, they might tell you it's nonsense, but they just are really good at remembering it. But it is kind of interesting. There's something about them that's kind of quirky and fun. Um, so with this, I see these really colored, colorful socks for some reason. I don't know if it's something they just wear around the house or maybe they wear them out in public. Not my place to judge. And if you're in the fool energy, you won't care either. So with the, um, with the death card here, Death moves you forward. We embrace death in the tarot because it's a rebirth. Death is never about an ending as much as it's about a new beginning. This also, too, has a tiny little boat in the background, so I always like to point this out. You see these little boats? That's important. They're telling you that what you asked for is here. It's on the way. You're manifesting it. It's, it's your time now, Leo. It's your time to have new from the old, to accept that rebirth. And to really understand that you're giving that death is to the old ways, is to the limitations, it's to things that weren't working out. But, you know, he also steps over the wreckage of the past here. So again, if it felt like something was a bit stagnant and stuck, I just don't see that as a continued energy. You move forward into it and you move forward in a confident way too. So this five of pentacles comes in. So I mentioned before, you may be attracting somebody who moves around a bit. I do see that in this card or feel it coming through in the energy.
But with the fives, it's about activity, mediation, and change. You do have a choice coming in, and I feel like you are going to move towards something you want. It's not so much about the moving away as a moving toward, but there is a bit of a bittersweet energy to it. So if it's a job and you've been kind of biding your time because you've wanted something else, but again, the money was enough and you, there's something else that comes in, I feel like you may move on. And I feel like there's an emotional connection more than anything else with it. But I do see you as making a change again. Some of you, it may be a physical move too, though, with that Nine of Pentacles. So either way, you have a decision and a move to make. But the King of Wands isn't going to let you stay still. The King of Wands will push you forward. It's you and your own energy. But this one too, you've got a lot of little animal friends in the cards. And those are important because when we see those, it's like really attracting true non-judgmental friendships around you because animals don't judge, right? They don't sit around and think about all the things you did to piss them off. They just are glad to see you again. And so with this though, you do have a very charismatic energy. So I feel like if you do have a choice too, those of you that have been dating some, if you have to let somebody down easily, I still, I almost feel like you end up ghosting them, but I don't want to tell you to do that. I'm not encouraging that. I'm just saying somebody here, it feels like they may have a just stop calling them kind of strategy on that. Um, but either way with this, you definitely have confidence and you're all about moving forward. So if you have a match, you're not going to hesitate. You're going to move forward with the one that really suits you. So with the star energy, I feel like in the next, maybe July, August is more when I start to really feel this coming into full fruition. But it is absolutely telling you that you are on the right track. Now, take care of yourself. I mentioned the physical body earlier. Stick to that. If you start to waver a bit, just get back on it again. This also is a card of meditation and being in the field of source energy. So make sure that we're taking care of the spirit as well. So let's see what else the angels have to say for you, Leo. Messages for Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Leo need to know, please, for the best and highest good? Advice for Leo, please. All right, so you have, if you believe, we know that one. The situation will improve. Well, I should say so. You've got some really nice, stable energies around you. Look for a sign. Those signs and synchronicities are the universe speaking to you. Within the next few months, so we talked about that, didn't we, time-wise? They say choose a new direction. So again, with that two of pentacles, there's a choice. I'd open up your mind, be in the fool energy, be in the star energy, and be open to the universe taking the wheel a little bit and guiding you because you've got wish fulfillment here. I love you, Leo, and I'll be back again soon.